what's up everybody what's going on hopefully everybody's paying attention to details and we are learning something be it you lost or won today's video is basically we're going to get into how you can spot certain things with patterns on history of how the repeats repeat itself so recently we had the whole stimulus thing and right now this is what's ongoing for the past couple of weeks now but as far as history goes i just want to show a little thing that i showed on one of my social media what it is that happened so let's get right into it so you can see right here for example exactly we can go back you can check the dates just look up on google stimulus check march before it was actually approved there was talks about it and it all started to happen around this time and so what caught my eye is when I back tested this and I was looking at it is the volume the volume was key here of course it always needs to be into a zone so if we were to back out and we go back in history on this we would see the zone in this area from here to here all the way back through you'll see on the daily for example you'll see a big area that's strong enough to hold this position so you can see this push down is right here this is the four hours looking at look at all this right here this is a big zone area so anything in this area that comes to the here is going to be something key to watch out for it attempted it here and this is basically when the whole shutdowns started to happen if i remember correctly and we can look so we can see on the four hour you can check to see exactly what it is that i was talking about so if we look right here you had a strong push down into a cell area right here so i'm going to mark this right here so we can just focus on it so you can see this push down right here of course you don't want to buy just because you had a push down or high volume this volume right here on the four hour was the craziest amount of volume that we've had on the euro usd for a long period of time nothing compares to it so and indicate incoming into a zone area so what i see and i look for for something like this if this were to happen i'm looking to see what is going to happen on the reaction of course we always want to look at the reaction but for something like this strong you want to wait 100 percent to see what is going to happen because you do not want to get in too early and you get stopped out because you're not going to put in a position something on this strong of a down move and all of a sudden just because you had you know one green bar into a random area with really little to no volume for example right here look at this push down right here this was into a zone but the volume was a lot less than any of these look at any of these all the way up to here it's the highest volume so when you're starting to get push downs like this and now you're starting to get kick-ins and volume now we're looking to see oh there's something happening you know institutions are seeing some kind of pattern happening and it looks like they are buying into a down move so for example if we come here and we look at the one hour because this is where my entry would be my entry is always going to be on the one hour so i'm going to show you guys right here on the one hour on this so we can look at it and see exactly what it is that happened so you can see this move right here this is the move i was talking about you had a push up clear selling came in and then now the key is to spot if the time for this breakthrough right here is a lot of volume so if we look back at this 12 you can see at 12 o'clock higher volume than this look at 12 also higher volume by a lot and if you keep going back all the way this is going to be the highest volume this is going to be the highest volume any broker you look at this is the highest volume with a strong bullish reaction this right here was not a high volume so even if you had a push-up it wasn't enough 
So, for example, you had this bullish reaction, but it's not the greatest bullish reaction. For me, I wouldn't enter something like that, especially on such a strong down move. So, you can keep coming back and you can wait. The thing is, is where is key is look right here. What is it? Right about here. You had another push down with a hammer candle. And on the 14 hour, you can see on the 14 hour, we go back to the 14 hour right here. This is higher volume. Even though it's small, it's still higher than this 14 right here. Okay, we look back also right here. It's high, but it's still not significant enough. So now we see a bullish push up on another hammer candle. This is now indication that we have a double hammer candle. That means that stops were taken out on this previous strong volume right here. They were both taken out right here. Attempted twice to break through. Couldn't push up hammer candle confirm confirmation right here. And on top of that, you had an, a third attempt. Could not close below. And basically we started to get a bullish reaction then what happened after that you can see is this strong up move and this is all the stimulus talk this was all stimulus this was exactly a week before the stimulus look at this they signed the bill right here in this area right here i think it was on march 25th they signed the bill and the senate passed through con confirmed and the banks knew about it, institutions knew about it, and they were all accumulating price right here. All of this right here was buying from them. Every single thing that you see here into a down move, they were buying. This push up, you know, they let it push back down, take out stops, anybody who bought here, and then that's it. They rode up. And then you had, as soon as they got the price that they wanted, which is in basically this area, they took out everybody. Who had stops below here, below here, below here, and just bought back again because they knew the dollar was starting to get weak. And you can see the rise of the euro USD. That is pretty much just something to look out for as far as patterns go and how these things go. So if we come back and we try to see what is happening right now with this stimulus talk, the thing is, is that you already have a push of $600 out to I guess certain people some people are getting it some people not right now but the thing is is there's talks happening about the $2,000 stimulus so that also is playing a role that's a big difference than just $600 so if that gets passed something else may happen if it doesn't get passed something opposite is going to happen as far as what I can see what I can see is if we were to look at a higher time frame, which I'd rather look at a higher time frame for something like this, to me, there is nothing significant except for this move right here. This move right here is a bullish push up move. Breakthrough, it's a bullish push up. I still, for me personally, I wouldn't be looking to go long on Euro USD just because. This area is way too high getting into a certain zone and it's about 100 pips away from it and it's looking like possibility they're trying to make the dollar strong again and it's very risky right now without any volume. The problem is we have holidays coming up in a couple days so it's a very risky move that's why I would personally be shorting on a very small position very small like 10 percent of whatever i usually would go into a position so yeah that's pretty much it hopefully you liked the video subscribe and comment below if you have any questions peace out